Well, the mask is off, the hypocrisy has been revealed, and now we know who they really are. Anybody who is prepared to kill a child at the moment that that child is about to grasp for breath in the open air, anybody who is prepared to allow a child to die after that child has been born alive in order to fulfill the plans and purposes of the abortion industry does not deserve to be called a pediatrician. In fact, you don't deserve to be called a governor either. You deserve to be called a monster because that's what that is. And folks, I'm ahead of everybody else because six years ago, this is the man who refused to shake my hand after a TV debate. Well, I've got a message for Governor Northam. I don't want to shake your hand. I don't want to shake the hand of a man who's willing to sign legislation that makes it legal to kill a child even after that child is born. In fact, Governor, I would say this. You can take that hand and you can sign your letter of resignation and get out of our governor's mansion. You can take that hand and open the door of the governor's mansion and close it behind you. And you can take that hand and grab your unholy trinity of Justin Fairfax and Mark Herring and take them with you. And folks, I just have to say to every black voter in the Commonwealth of Virginia, stop voting for these Democrats who are more interested in wearing black face than they are interested in saving black babies. We are going to fight to make sure that this Commonwealth and our country is everything God intended it to be. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, born and unborn. God bless you.